Grace and peace be with you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, origin, sustainer, and end of all your creatures, grant that your church taught by your servant Evelyn Underhill, guarded evermore by your power, and guided by your spirit into the light of truth, may continually offer to you all glory and thanksgiving and attain with your saints to the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have promised by your, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. A reading from the seventh chapter of the Wisdom of Solomon. For wisdom is more mobile than any motion. Because of her pureness, she pervades and penetrates all things, for she is a breath of the power of God and a pure emanation of the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, nothing defiled gains entrance into her, for she is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror of the working of God and an image of his goodness. Although she is but one, she can do all things, and while remaining in herself, she renews all things. In every generation, she passes into holy souls and makes them friends of gods and prophets. For God loves nothing so much as the person who lives with wisdom. She is more beautiful than the sun and excels every constellation of the stars. Compared with the light, she is found to be superior and it is succeeded by the night. But against wisdom, evil does not prevail. She reaches mightily from one end of the earth to the other, and she orders all things well. Here ends the lesson. Now let us turn and read in unison Psalm number 37, verses 3 through 6, and 32 through 33. Trust in the Lord and do good, so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make your vindication shine like the light, and the justice of your cause like the noonday. The wicked watch for the righteous, and seek to kill them. The Lord will not abandon them to their power, or let them be condemned when they are brought to trial. Here ends the psalm. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. The woman said to him, Sir, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshiped on this mountain, but you say that the place where a people must worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You worship what you do not know. We worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father seeks such as these to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. How many here know who Evelyn Underhill is? And you can't answer because you were at morning prayer. and We talked about her this morning. So she, anybody have heard of her before? She was, she was a seeker, like all of us, seeking the way and trying to follow the way to the best that she could. She was an author and a mystic and, uh, in a sense, a philosopher. 
But she said a couple things, and I want to share those with you. The first one is this. If God were small enough to be understood, he would not be big enough to worship. That's that kind of that mystery of faith, you know, when people say, well, what's this, and why do we do this, and where's God, why can't I touch God, why can't I see God? Um, we say God is everywhere. If God were small enough to be understood, he would not be big enough to be worshipped. That's one. The second one is, she wrote this, she said, love is creative, it does not flow along the easy paths, spending itself in the attractive, it cuts new channels, goes where it is needed. And I love that. I love that. I love that. Huh? That's my favorite. I love that. That's not the one I'm going to talk about, but I love that one. Yeah. I love that one. Because we forget that. You know, we, in our society, you know, beauty is king or queen. You know, we have all, you know, all these things. Um, and we, we, we go sometimes the easy way. Go with the flow. That's what they call it. You know, we go with the flow where, you know, we don't want to stand up against something or somebody. Have you ever been in a situation where you wished you had stood up for something, but you just went with the flow? I know I have. And it's like, I'll give you an example. And I may have used this one before. When I was a seminarian, I was at the Church of the Epiphany, which I know you guys have heard me talk about. It's on 13th and G Street in downtown D.C. It's four blocks from the White House. Um, and it is, it served 200 homeless people every Sunday morning at 6, 6 a.m. They had a place to go and they fed breakfast. It was, a, it was the uh, welcome table breakfast, and I'll, I'll talk more about that. Um, and, and, but they could worship. We had a welcome table worship service at eight o'clock. So they came in, uh, the, you know, the, they, they were released at six o'clock from the shelters. They came to, the, a lot of folks came to the different churches. We had Bible study, which was available, adult Bible study mostly. We had Narcotics Anonymous which they understood that the congregation would sit in as well. Um, we had a, a homeless choir, which we participated in. And then we also had godly uh, gospel arts, where they could draw and paint. We'd read the gospel, talk about it for a nanosecond, and then everybody could artistically create, right? And this church, um, one Sunday when I was there, um, and, and Father Charles was up talking and, and um, you know how in the Baptist church and some of the other churches, you know, if, if I'm saying something you like, you go, uh-huh, amen, praise be to God, all that kind of stuff. Well, this young lady who, who was a little bit, um, um, she was part of the Narcotics Anonymous group, and she was a little bit um, high at the time, and she stands up and she says, can I get an amen? Now, what do you think would happen in our church if somebody did that? That's what happened. Nobody said anything. Nobody. Not a, I mean, we were shocked, right? And so this is one of those situations where if somebody did that now, I would say, amen. So she said, can I get an amen? And it was dead silence for maybe three to five seconds, which were very painful. And she said, well, I guess I can't. And she sat right down. But that's one of those things where, you know, if you had stepped out a little bit out of your comfort zone. So this next quote of hers is this, my growth depends on my walls coming down. So one of my walls in that instance was not, not, not to um, be outspoken where perhaps someone else should do it, right? I, now if that happened, I'm sure we'd all go, amen, sister. Now sit down and listen to it, <laughs> you know. but. No response. Nobody responded. Uh, it was... I'm sorry? Eight o'clock. It was an eight o'clock. We came to the... They came... They showed up at six. We had activities for them to do. Then we had a welcome table. Eucharist was with just one lesson, a psalm, and the gospel like we have today. And then it was... Everybody got a number. And at the end of that service, you call, your number got called and you got in line for breakfast. But the congregation ate breakfast with... The homeless guests that showed up that day. Okay? So my growth depends on my walls coming down. So one of the things that um, 
I, you know, we, as a seminarian, we were all supposed to go to the different churches to find one that might be a good fit for us. And there were 70 different churches in D.C. There's one every 10 blocks. And um, all the seminarians went out. We would go to the different services. And St. John's, um, you know, right on uh, St. John's Lafayette, which is the one right at the White House. You can walk across the lawn, and that's St. John's Lafayette. They had a, a Spanish language service at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, this is 10 years ago. No, this is... Um, this is actually longer ago. Uh, this is 12 years ago. So they had, they had, a, uh, they had the, the morning service, and that's where a lot of the politicians went. That's where the uppity-up folks kind of went. And then at 1 o'clock, they had a, a Latino service. And the, the uh, rector at the time was Cuban and had been there for a very long time. And you may or may not know this, but I'm bilingual. So I was discerning whether... I was trying to find one that was social justice and um, Spanish, but of course I couldn't find that. So I talked to my bishop at the time, the bishop in Indianapolis, and she said, pick the one where you're the most uncomfortable. Well, I really hadn't been around homeless people that much, you know, um, so I chose that one. And it was very uncomfortable. However, um, it also, in those two years, a lot of walls were knocked down. A ton of walls were knocked down. Just misconceptions. Another example, you know how you see somebody, um, pick a school that you're for. You know, pick a, I'm for Indiana University, so whenever I see an Indiana University license plate or whatever, you know, you get real excited. The Aggies always come up and introduce themselves to you. Texas A&M, what year were you? They, 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 they have that down. Um, but my daughter was with me. She'd flown in for spring break, and we were serving. Um, actually, we were sitting with... So they had a group that served and a group that sat. So you, you, we weren't serving them. We, we, had, we taught folks how to sit with a homeless person and carry on a conversation. And you can't go, well, what do you want for Christmas? You know, or what, you know, you can't, you have to, you kind of have to talk a lot in generalities, but um, a guy comes in wearing an Indiana University sweatshirt. And Taylor's like, look, Dad, because she was an IU grad too. And I said, I, said, I went up to him and said, hey, are you a Hoosier? And he goes, what's that? And I go, your shirt, where'd you get that? He goes, this? I got this from the Goodwill. <laughs> Boom. There's a wall that just came down. Oh, my God. That wasn't his alma mater, right? How silly of us. That was something to keep warm for him. And any shirt would have been accommodating. Um, so when, when we think about things, you know, um, sometimes we're just afraid to speak up when someone... When, when, some, when we're in the middle of something and someone is doing something that we know is not the right thing to do, and I, I'm talking about me, you know, sometimes you just have to stand up and say, stop, this is not right. And that's hard for us to do. We don't, we don't want to be embarrassed. We're afraid what people will think. We're, we're, afraid, um, we're afraid of being rejected, right? So I challenge us. I challenge us to knock down some of these walls. Um, you know, Jesus welcomed everybody. And this, the second quote of hers, the one that you like so much, love is creative. Well, let's get creative. It does not flow along the easy path, spending itself in the attractive. It cuts new channels and goes where it is needed. And I'm here to tell you, love is needed in our world more now than I think it's ever been. And amen. we are the ones that are to do that. So, amen. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, with that, we're going to go on to the litany of healing. So, who shall we pray for today? For me. We're going to pray for Joanne today. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Sammy and Joyce. Sammy and Joyce, we ask prayers for Sammy and Joyce. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We ask prayers for Robert and Doris. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We ask prayers for Beth and for Drew. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For Anthony and Caitlin. We offer prayers for Anthony and Caitlin. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We give thanksgiving prayers for Garrett and Emily. 
who are on their way now from New York to be married on Saturday here. We ask for safe travels. Lord, in your mercy. We, pay, we pray for Barbara, Debbie, and Juliet. Lord, in your mercy. God the Father, your will for all people is health and salvation. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Son, you came that we might have life and might have it more abundantly. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. God the Holy Spirit, you make our bodies the temple of your presence. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Holy Trinity, one God, in you we live and move and have our being. We praise you and thank you, O Lord. Lord, grant your healing grace to all who are sick, injured, or disabled that they may be made whole. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to all who seek your guidance and to all who are lonely, anxious, or despondent a knowledge of your will and an awareness of your presence. Hear us, O Lord of life. Men broken relationships and restore those in emotional distress to soundness of mind and serenity of spirit. Hear us, O Lord of life. Bless physicians, nurses, and all others who minister to the suffering granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. Hear us, O Lord of life. Grant to the dying peace and a holy death, and uphold by the grace and consolation of your Holy Spirit those who are bereaved. Hear us, o Lord of life. Restore to wholeness whatever is broken by human sin in our lives, in our nation, and in the world. Hear us, o Lord of life. You are the Lord who does wonders, with you, O Lord, is the well of life. And in your light we see life. Hear us, O Lord of life. Heal us and make us whole. Let us pray. image and called us to be the body of Christ. We have not honored your image in one another. We have not loved others as you have loved us. Forgive us our sin of not seeing you in each other. This pandemic has highlighted the racial disparities in our communities, the violence toward people of color and Asian descent, and this gun violence has sickened us. Now give us courage to stand up and work with all the strength we possess to bring racial justice in our church and in our community. Give us the will to do your will in this work. In the name of Jesus, who always stood with people who were oppressed, even when it cost him his life. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, giver of life and health, send your blessing on all who are sick and upon those who minister to them, that all weakness may be vanquished by the triumph of the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Savor the world by your cross and precious blood, you have redeemed us. Save yes. us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Now for those who are watching over YouTube or on TV, uh, Please place your hand on your forehead as I pray. The Almighty Lord, who is a strong tower to all who put their trust in him, to whom all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth bow and obey, be now and evermore your defense, and make you know and feel that the only name under heaven given for health and salvation is the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now those who wish to receive the anointing of oil and laying out of hands will come forward.
We lay our hands upon you, and I anoint you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We teach you our Jesus Christ, truly with his very presence, his grace, his mercy, and his love, that you might always feel his love around you, supporting you, healing you, and uplifting you, and that you may have that victory and peace over life, so that you can continue to serve him in this world and in the world to come. Amen. Amen. God's peace, God's peace, God's peace, God's peace. peace. Just a couple quick announcements. We will be having two healing stations on Sunday. It was Mia Kupa that we didn't get that done. Moving forward, we will have healing stations every Sunday as part of Holy Unction that people can receive. Uh, there'll be a priest on either side so that folks can come up during um, the offertory music and while we're preparing the table, that will be the time when they'll come up for healing and then um, come up and receive communion after that. Um, so we will make sure that happens. Um, Reverend Terry is working with St. Luke's, uh, the Lutherans. Uh, we are having, um, she's representing the Canterbury Club um, and they're having a uh, kind of a vacation Bible school um, in downtown Harrisburg, so that's where she is um, today. So let's keep her in her prayers, in our prayers, because it's pretty hot. Even in the air conditioning, it's pretty hot. So we will keep Reverend Terry in our prayers. And of course, you know, Reverend Thomas is not working with us today, but he also has his worship service tonight. So keep him in your prayers um, and his congregation as they make way to take him back full time. And now walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself as an offering and sacrifice to God. service continues with Eucharistic Prayer A, beginning on page 361 in the Book of Common Prayer. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe. From your goodness we have this bread to offer, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe. From your goodness we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of blessing. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks, thanks and, and praise. praise. 
it is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For in the work of your saints, you have created to us a people who will glorify your holy name. Because of the glorious obedience of your saints, you have given us an example of righteousness and their eternal joy, a glorious pledge of the hope of our calling. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy glory, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, Bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. By him, and with him, and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are now, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah. to the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven.
blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. I invite all those who are unable to receive the consecrated bread and wine at this time, but who long for the blessing of God through our Savior Jesus Christ to join me in this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart, cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus, and let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life and in the life to come. Amen. Let us say the post-communion prayer in your bulletin. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated to you, and then use us, we pray, as you will, and always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now may God the Father bless you, God the Son heal you, and God the Holy Spirit give you strength. May God the Holy and Undivided Trinity guard your body, save your soul, and bring you safely to his heavenly country where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.